Hi, welcome. You are at the headquarters where we built the ISOs. And uh, as you may know from previous videos, I have now bought this mobile thing so we can actually move around and be, well, less jitters on the video. And there is uh, something happened here. And that's why we are here. Fail to start light display manager. Now, I know what I did wrong, so it's my mistake. <laughs> so uh, maybe I thought maybe I should make a video about it and say, look guys, uh, by the way, this is Plasma. Wake up Plasma. Right, wake up. He's already sleeping. Come on. All right, so this is the new Plasma. And if you log in, you'll see it's just awesome, right? Okay, so some of you guys will probably run the Nemesis script like I did. And I was not thinking, right? Because look at the machines. There are machines down there and there are machines down here, All right? Machines down there. These two, that one and this one, the right one is exactly the same thing, easy. I switch my SSD from A to B, it will work, it's the same hardware. But this one isn't. So I said something to this machine, hey, you're an Intel uh, driver, etc. And no, he isn't. So if you said things wrong, then you'll see, of course, that it won't work. And why is that? Because I use the Nemesis script and the Nemesis script is set for my machines, not your machines. At the end, you get a long list of numbers choosing your system, what, what um, desktop you have. You choose the desktop and that's for me. When I make my videos, I need to set that right. Otherwise I get all jumpy text and, and, and bad, bad uh, videos. So I need to change something in the X org. So what I've totally forgotten when I was testing, we are in the testing phase, of all the ISOs, 35 of them. We, um, so I ran my uh, Article Linux Nemesis, that's on the GitHub from Eric Dubois, but I should not have done anything in the end. I should have skipped it. So that's something maybe people do as well. So I thought, let's make a video about it. How to fix it again. So I done a Ctrl Alt F2, F3, F4, you choose. It's a TTY, login. And what that script does, the Nemesis script, at the very, very end, is to set my settings from Xorg right, so the videos will be great. But not on this computer. On this computer, everything crashes. So, I'm gonna CD inside ETC in the Xorg. X is a big capital. X is important, so X11, right? And then tap. And we have xorg conf d we go inside and what do we have here inside 20 intel conf sorry but the computer crashes because he has no intel conf right and that's the problem so my even strange things there up up there is all red so this text shouldn't really be there this is uh, intentionally there because it's it says tear free that's good on an intel graphics which it isn't so lightm says or xorg says huh what's this so all you need to do is go back out and ls right you see that thing and you say sudo remove me that number 20 get out of here you're not needed thank you very much sudo reboot and then we wait lightm should be kicking in and i have a system back uh, the way it was. Quick enter. Let's go out. Nice this handheld phone holding thing. How is it called? Osmo something. There you go. And now I can set everything up. So I thought let's record that. Maybe you do that, do that too. So if you run the Nemesis script at the very end think about to not choosing a number because I have my hardware, you have your hardware. The Nemesis script is for me, set right for me. You should make your own Nemesis script. Use the code, 
but in the end there, uh, do not run that last bit. All right, cheers.